All right. Shouldn't have any technical issues today. Should all be the same as yesterday. Should just work. Oh, it did not. Why is my controller? How fun. Just try turning the controller off and on again. Maybe that'll do it. Okay, that did not do it. Uh... Why? Why does it have to give me so many problems? Uh, gamepad. It should work. There we are. That worked. All right, we're good to continue. Or wait, did I want to load or continue? Did I save or did I die? I think I saved. Oh, except this is the wrong. <laughs> this is the wrong save data. Dang it. Yeah, that's the wrong data. Load game. Two fifteen. This is the data. Okay. This should be right where I left off. Ah, the library. Okay. Where for some reason not letting me use the book that I'm definitely supposed to use here. That was where I left off. Why? Why is it telling me, oh, it's a bunch of books with copper covers one is missing I have a copper book but I don't slot it in the spot where one's missing it doesn't make any sense what in the world could it possibly want me to do if not that Hmm. Philosophy books. This is very frustrating because it seems so straightforward that that's what I'm supposed to do, but it clearly doesn't work. Maybe I missed something out here. Writing's been carved into the desktop. Take the dry path when choosing among the three. I forgot about that. No clue what it means.
Any books on the occult? Thing inside. All right. So we missed something somewhere. Now it's been a day and I forgot how to navigate this place. Um... My hair's a mess. Got a key in here earlier. I really don't think there's anything else. Okay, I wanted to search this room again, because last time I was here I was getting chased by Scissor Man. I didn't really get to explore. Camera's on the floor. It's the professional camera Tim was using. There's some matches on the floor. And I got the matches. Okay, we actually found something useful. Oh no, Tim. Okay, good. Where could I use matches? That's that's moving forward here. Hmm. Oh, Barrows must have painted it. Oh, was there something with this box? Look at this box again. Cosmetics box. It looks very old. That's it? I guess that's it. Alright. Nothing else in here, it appears. Where might I use matches? Um... Like a fireplace in here that you no. Know. Oh wait, hey, I already this is the dry path note. I'm choosing between the three, take the dry path. I wonder what this means. Okay, nope, there was nothing to burn in the library. I doubt I'm supposed to burn books. I don't remember what's in all these rooms. We'll have to double check again. Hmm. Nothing out here. We're gonna get attacked any second. Scissor Man doesn't like to wait that long between attacks. doors. Out here. Okay. This is the room where I found Nolan. Yo, what's going on, Frenchie? How you doing? Oh, Nolan's back. What's up, Nolan? You weren't here earlier.
bones are all over the floor. That's all that's in here, apparently. Nothing much at work. Leave it in like 15 minutes. Nice. Any sheet pans of cake today? You switched over to the fall winter menu, so lots of cakes on the horizon. Oof. Stretch? Yo, what's up, Mario? Thanks for the stretch. Huh? Oh. You're making me hungry for cake, Frenchie. Sounds so good right now. Maybe I can burn this. I found matches. If you missed the very beginning of the stream, I've accomplished nothing today except finding uh, some matches. Metal fittings are rusted. Well, maybe I can burn it? Doesn't make much sense, but you never know. Yo, what's up, Battle Boss? Saw you playing some Stellaris earlier. Can't burn it. Oh, I don't know what else. I mean, I'm stair key. I don't think makes sense, but let's try anyway. Oh wait, can I use the matches with the candle? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Yeah, whatever opens this, I don't think I have it. Having to feel like ordering a pizza when I get home. Frenchie, why are you doing this to me? Why you gotta say things like that? Just cruel. Pizza's too expensive. Uh, I've been in here. This is where I stabbed that weird little hand thing. You know what's not that expensive as Little Caesars? I know it definitely is a medium for my spots, like 21. Yeah, it really is. I uh, I usually do Papa John's, but I might just start going to pick it up from Little Caesars because it's literally a third the cost to get it from there and just get it yourself instead of getting delivery. It's not as good, but Little Caesars is all right. Um, Can I use matches on the fireplace? Delivery makes everything expensive. Yeah, it does. What a big fireplace. Thanks. Thanks, Jessica, or whatever your name is. Make me second guess even ordering in the first place. Well, I mean, you're on your way home, right? Place an order before you leave work and then stop on the way and pick it up. Like, place an order for pickup. Oh, you Uber home. Well, that's expensive, too. You do that every day? Hmm. You comment on how big the fireplace is. I don't seem to have anything I can do with it, though. Uh, I have to since I don't drive. Oh, bummer. Game, what do I do? Still probably save you a little money to have the Uber guy like stop at the pizza place and then Uber the rest of the way home, but I don't know anymore. Because Uber's not cheap either. It's a tough call. Uh, 
Uh, maybe I think this is still locked, but you never know. Let's go try. Maybe I found a key I forgot about. No way to open it. Check this. I check this table. I may not have. Covered with dust. All right. Hmm. I don't think we've had to go to a guide for anything yet in this game. I don't want to go to a guide, but I'm just, I've got no clue what I'm missing right now. The floor is caved in. Throw a lit match down there. Maybe we can see some. Nope. Uh, can I interact with anything else? I don't think so. I haven't seen Scissor Man in a while. I don't know what he's waiting for. Give me a false sense of security by not attacking for a long time. Alright. Maybe something in here? I don't think so. Yeah, this was just a trap for Scissor Man to use once. That leads outside. I don't think I have any reason to go out there. I mean, I'll peek my head out just to look everywhere. Yep, so this dude's still here. You have anything new to say? Still being weird? Professor Barton, are you alright? I'm not injured. This is an extremely important experience for me. Because here I am at the site of the murders. A very, very intriguing situation. So weird. Alright, yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do with the water, which is basically all I can interact with out here. Look at each of the trees. Maybe there's something in one of the trees I missed. Oh! Something shiny under the tree. It looks like a drain valve. That's not helpful. Got me all excited. What do I care about a drain valve? Like, check again. Is that like a hint that if I flush something out somewhere? Uh, oh jeez. He's coming. If I flush something out somewhere, maybe it ends up there. Oh, hey there, scissor man. Don't mind me, just going this way. Sucker.
Really? I haven't lost him yet? How is he keeping up with me? Oh, he's right behind me. I'm, like, out of tricks to lose him. I just have to sort of run until he stops facing now. How is he staying so close? Leave me alone, you dummy. Is he not coming this room? That's interesting. That's new information if he doesn't ever come in here. Hmm. Still doesn't help me escape him. How did he catch up so fast? He speeds up so much the second you're not in the same room. There's a library. I kind of want to go back there. That's it. Here's something I can use. That's it? That was my plan? Okay, good plan. He'll never get out of that one. I think we're safe.
right, the library. I mean, I don't know what else I'll check there, but I think it's up here. That's where I just came from, right? So yeah, I think the library's upstairs. Nope, that is very much not it. up here somewhere this maybe I think this is it Okay, let's try to use, I mean, I didn't have matches last time I was in here. Use matches on everything. Yeah, there's one book missing. I have it, and you won't let me put it in. I feel like that would open a secret passage. That's a very video gamey thing. I might have to go to the guide. I really didn't want to, but I think I'm stuck. Sucks. Hate to do it. I think it's guide o'clock. What's the next step? Uh, let's see. Two point one three is where I'm at. Two point one three. Right. I'm not really reading the old guide. I'm just looking for anything I can find here that I haven't done. It needs to be done. <laughs> okay, I did that. Okay, this is something I had not considered. After finding the genealogy, which I did find, I have to go back and look at the portraits again, which I'd already looked at before, and now I will apparently have a different reaction to the portraits because I have the genealogy. That's what I'm missing. All right. I can see why I... I didn't. I, so it just wanted me to do something I've already done again now that I have this item. I guess it just didn't leave much of an effect on me when she just said, oh, it's portraits, and that was really all she said, then moved on. I don't remember precisely where the portraits are, but I remember roughly they're in, like, one of these rooms right off the main hall. One of these four. One of these three, really. I think one of these two on top, even. Not this one, I don't think. I think it's a room with like a lot of portraits in it. A wall of portraits. 
Maybe this one? I remember her commenting on them. I don't think this was it. No, because there was a bunch of them. So it's not this. Must be this one. Because this one just had a hole in the ground and nothing else. So it has to be this one. Or I'm just way misremembering. Ah, here we are. I did not think to go back and look at all the... Por oh, jeez. Well. Look at all the pork. Really? I'm finally in the right place and now he's attacking again? Oh, annoying. Scissor man! Um, change of mind. I'm going back. Maybe there's something in here I can use on him. Go down there. We've been there. Can I, like, lock him? Ah, Cinderman! Okay. Back to the portrait room. No scissormen this time, please. Number are written under the portrait six seven. Oh, I want I think thirteen. So could be this one. A plaque reads Quentin Barrows. He is the thirteenth generation. So he's the Barrows the others don't like. A note is stuck to the back side of the portrait. Hard to read, but it says, Danger is near. I've hidden the map in the library. I hope people in a later time may discover the door and expel the devil children from this world. Quentin Barrows. Cool. Thanks, Quentin. Back to the library. Is it now going to let me put the book in there like I've wanted to the entire dang time? But it wanted me to read that note first.
Hmm. Okay, so that wasn't what they did. Fair enough. Uh, where's the darn map? They straight up said he hid the map in the library, right? This is definitely what he wanted me to do. What? Ah, other side. Okay. Nothing here I can read. Learn to read. What the heck? Did I read that wrong? You told me to come to the library. Hmm, maybe it counts this other room as a library too. Let's check this other room again. Oh, this is new. Can't see anything, it's too dark. I couldn't interact with that before. Okay. Uh. Candlestick holder. Wax has dripped here and there. I have a candle. Candles were placed in the holder. I got matches. Right? No? You don't want to... There we are. Okay, we got a lit candle. We're making progress again. Feels good. Something's stuck on the back. Looks like a sketch of the mansion. There seems to be a passage drawn under the fountain. You now have mansion map. There's a passage under the fountain. Okay. Um, I guess we go check the fountain out. That's down here. Is that a door in the bottom? So drain valve it. That's why we called out the drain valve before. I'm gonna drain the fountain. This might be the valve to drain the fountain. All right. I'm gonna leave you here, Doctor. What's it? The water in the fountain drains away. Hey. Oh, it's that kid. Edward, are you all right? Jennifer, I found a way out. 
Where? It's over there. Everyone else is already there. Hmm, I definitely don't trust this weirdo. Never trust anyone with pants that short. Oh. Wait, I'm dead? He killed me? What? That's the worst ending ever. Ending rank D, survivor unidentified. That's an unacceptable ending. Well, I've cleared two endings now, E and D. I'm getting slowly less crappy endings. Although, I don't know, that one wasn't much less crappy. Can I continue? No, I got a new game from there. Brutal. So I needed to find, I bet, there was something similar to that in um, Clock, uh, Clock Tower 1. Where if you didn't know beforehand, find some sort of evidence that Miss Mary was evil, you would fall for her dumb little trap, like that kid's dumb little trap of, hey, come with me. So I bet I could find some evidence somewhere that Edward was one of the devil children. And then she would know not to trust him, and then that wouldn't play out that way. That's my guess. But we're going to go new game, and we're going to go away with a different main character this time. Because this game is an interesting thing where, uh, you see we have Jennifer's ending and Helen's ending. Depending on decisions you make at the very beginning of the game, either Jennifer's the main character or Helen's the main character. So let's try to do stuff where we play as Helen, because we haven't done that yet. And if anyone missed the beginning, I will let this play out as well. But we're definitely not done with Jennifer, because I'll get a good ending. But for now, let's let's check Helen's gameplay out. My, my understanding of something I read was how many people you speak to as Barton determines who the main character is. What on earth are you doing, Professor? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. I must know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. All right. But remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes, Professor. <laughs> Okay, now as Barton, I want to talk to fewer people. If I can, they're in the hallway. A replica of the scissors used by the murderer in the clock tower case. These are like the weapon he used to slash up his victims. Hmm, smaint, smaint smell of ammonia. But yeah, the uh, the way this game plays out is really interesting in terms of like what affects different outcomes. There is RNG to it as well, to a degree. Clock tower murder. A mass murder of over 10 victims in this case. How intriguing. Jennifer Simpson, only one of two survivors. I have to get information out of her for future profiling. Period. My laboratory. Lately, I've been doing mostly criminal psychology. Research. Hmm, the staff is still here. Alright, so do I want to not talk to them? I think I have to talk to them. Can I just leave? 
There's still something I need to do in here. What's that? Take the statue. One of the items found at the scene of the clock tower murder. Seems to be hiding some sort of secret. It would be a good idea to get an expert opinion on it. Can I leave now or do I have to talk to people? Nah, it wants me to talk to people. Okay, fine. Professor, newspaper reporter's here. Did you have an appointment for an interview? About the clock tower murders, isn't it? Hmph, I guess they want to sensationalize. This scissor man, who really doesn't ex even exist. Scissor man, it'd be cool if he were real. Uh huh? Or, um, just a joke. Professor, Helen left a few minutes ago, and she looked really angry. Hmm. You know, Helen and Jennifer are really beginning to look like sisters, aren't they? I guess that's what happens when you live together. One must let the personal feelings get in the way. Jennifer's nothing more than another research subject. Uh, yes, yes, you're right. I leave now. There's still something I need to do in here. What do I have to do? Mask? Uh, computer? I don't know what you want me to look at. If it's not the mask, maybe it's the bear. Nope, he's still not done. All right, all right, we'll look at the bear. Is there anything else left to look at? Like a prize, one at a fair. Wish I had a cute kid sister. Cute kid brother. We'll be okay too. Yeah, thanks, that's real useful. Didn't keep the reporter waiting too long. I'm trying not to. What the heck? Dude, leave the room. What am I missing? Oh, there's a computer back there I can use. Harris's desk clipped out articles of the clock tower story are scattered about. Is that what I needed to see? Seems Harris has gone somewhere. Alright, he had to see Harris's desk. Done. Okay, so I think I want to not stop and talk to people. Talk to the bare minimum people. And then we should play as Helen. Oh, Professor, I'm the one who called you from Oslo Weekly News. My name's Nolan Campbell. And this is Tim, my cameraman. It's a pleasure. I'm a bit busy. Please keep it brief. Then I'll get right to the point. Have you been able to figure out who the murderer is? I can't say anything for sure yet, because the victim's testimony lacks credibility. 
Oh, do you mean the victim that's testifying? That'd be Jennifer Simpson, wouldn't it? Yes, but what about her? Oh, uh, nothing really. It's just that uh, we saw her leaving a few minutes ago. And since we'd run into her, we asked her for an interview, but she refused. You just said her testimony lacked credibility. I know what you're going to say. That monster she was talking about, the Scissor Man, and whether he really exists or not. That's it. That's right. That's what our readers want to know. Because the existence of this Scissor Man has become a symbol of terror among youngsters. Yes, and that's because trashy gossip magazines like yours have sensationalized the whole thing. Ouch, that hurts. Not much I can say to that, is there? Well, let's start from the conclusion. It's fact that there was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon. But that doesn't make him into an immortal monster. We're just dealing with some odd screwball. But what about what she said? She was scared. She thought she saw something. Oh, I see, but... Okay, that's it. Interview over. There's something I must be attending to. Ah, uh, well, okay. I understand. Thank you very much. Sorry I couldn't be as much help as you had hoped. I have to get back to the lab. I'm expecting another survivor of the clock tower. Murders. He's supposed to be a young boy. About ten years old. Yeah, don't trust that young boy. He's a jerk. And he killed me. Not a fan. Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert opinion on this statue. Professor, the boy that survived the clock tower murders is here. Oh, has he arrived already? Yes, he's waiting in the therapy room. Still something I need to do here, of course there is. There's something I can do for you? Uh, I should probably ask Professor Sullivan. Head librarian at the Metropolitan. Library. Yes, but there was that old butler at the Barrows Mansion named Rick. I'll show it to him first to see if he knows anything. Pretty sure he lives in the suburbs. I could ask Harris to show it to him. We asked Harris to show it to him last time, so we're going to go know this time. All right, then. I'll have Professor Sullivan at the Metropolitan Library. Take a look. We're going to basically make every different decision than we did the first time. Should probably go to the therapy room. Thank you very much for coming. How do you do? I'm an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. I'm Edward's guardian. Edward, I thought he completely lost all his memory. From the shock. 
Does he remember his name? No, I call him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very difficult. Now, since this is our first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Okay, Edward. Now, I want you to honestly tell me everything you remember about what happened. Uh, yes? Well, then, let's get started. Hey, save data. All right, so I whatever decisions I made there should determine now who our main character is. Hopefully I did it right and got Helen. If not, we're Jennifer again, but we'll at least be Jennifer doing things differently. I'll play it out either way. Looks like we're Helen. Nice. You said your hard drive crashed. That's too bad. Yes, I lost all this morning's data. Hope I can get it fixed sometime today. Otherwise, I won't get my dissertation done on time. Don't worry. When Danny gets back, I'm sure he'll be able to help you. You're probably right. In the meantime, I'm going to step out for a bit. Would you ask Danny for me, please? Sure. See you later. I need to think of a better voice for Helen. I'll think on it. Hmm. Police station. Assistant Inspector Gotts, the person in charge of the clock tower case is here. Well, hey, Teach. Got some new info? No. Have you got any leads? Nope. Nothing. That old geezer of yours, he ain't coming clean. Do you mean Professor Barton? Yeah, that's him. He said there ain't nothing straight about the case. Yes, that sounds like Professor Barton. What about that little cutie? Jennifer? She's still having nightmares. Occasionally. I ain't surprised. She was almost flashed up too, wasn't she? Well, let me know if you learned something. Okay, bye. Hmm, newspaper? I'll well, buy reporters if I go over there. Hotel? Edward and his guardian are staying here. We'll go see Edward. Edward, you jerk! You killed me. Don't trust that little kid, Helen. They're here. Oh, Helen! How's it going? Any results from Professor Barton's therapy? No, but we can't give up hope. Sometimes, something will jog one's memory. Yes. Will you be staying here long? Mr. Barton also thought it a good idea. We plan to stay here for a while. Oh, really? Well, hang in there, Edward. Yes, Miss Maxwell. I didn't realize it was this late. I've got to get back to the university. Uh, research building or home? I get home and work on my dissertation. This isn't my home. Oh, Miss Maxwell. I replaced your hard drive. Thanks, that's a big help. I'm going down to the lounge for a short nap. What are you going to do? We'll all be going home soon. Oh, okay. Well, no need to lock up. Okay.
Oh, here we go. Scenario one, Helen Maxwell. This is new. Just hanging out in the sleepy room with this person. Is that you, Baker? Oh, it's you, Helen. Baker's still in the lab. Rose, are you seeing Baker again here? Yeah, sort of. Well, no matter how late it is, remember, don't use the university as a motel. Let me sleep a little longer until Baker comes. Job getting ending D. Thanks, Fab Mario. Which endings did you get? For some reason there's a pillow on the shelf. Beth probably put that there. I remember she once said she couldn't sleep without her own pillow. Comic book brought in by one of the staff. Okay. An app or what? I thought I came to take a nap. Is this supposed to be post nap? I think it's about time for a nap. Would you turn off the light, please? I can't sleep with it on. Of course. I'll take a quick cat nap, then work on my report. Nap in here. Well, now, who is it? <gasps> oh, no! It's Scissor Man! That's the worst person for it to be. Um... Yep, because he is easy to get away from as usual. Or Scissor Man. So bad at killing people. Wash my hands. Somehow our hands are covered in blood. Huh? Well, let's go check on the dude that just got murdered, right? I feel like that's the first place to go back and check. Is that Baker? Is that what they called him? It was this room. Oh, 
they're gone. Scissor man, how did you pull that off? Hmm. That's odd. Doesn't even budge. Professor Fears. Ah, that went too fast. There's no way to get in the lab. I hate when they make stuff go super fast. Elevator. something here that might be useful. Oh. Wait, I guess there's not then? There are some tools here. I wonder if it's being repaired. Might be. Ooh, what did I find? Pliers. Ooh. What would I use pliers for? Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's go find something to ply. Uh, I guess we'll check third floor before the first floor. Sides cloaked in gloomy darkness. Emergency ladder. Can't be used because it's locked. This certainly would be a big help in an emergency. Door to the rooftop. It's locked and can't be opened. Oh, that's right. This door is kept locked ever since someone committed suicide by jumping off the roof. back up. Crap, I wonder where he's coming from. Bathrooms always foil, scissor man. Whoa, you gonna get broomed, son? Bam, got him.
key laying on the table. What's this? You know, have a storage key. Pliers and a key. <gasps> oh, well, that's not good. Now security will surely come. If I can somehow stay alive until then. Bone is dead. So for the security guards often used for naps. Half of this office is apparently used for naps. Wish I worked there. Something sounds like water drip. Oh my. Whoa. Where's the storage room? We got a key to it. No way out. Research lab currently not being used. No way to open this door. But the next one. This looks like a room Scissor Man to be hiding in. Scissor Man loves hiding in boxes. That's like one of his favorite hobbies. But he's gonna be in one of these boxes for sure. I'd be surprised if he wasn't. Pick this box. If I can only find something to use as a weapon. I accept a scrap of paper. Parts for computers. This door should lead to the parking lot outside. Huh? Doorknob is wired shut. It won't open. Oh, that's right. This door isn't supposed to be used. Wired shut? wonder if I could do something to the wire. Well, I mean, I got pliers. Um, it worked. I don't want to leave yet, though. Let's explore a little more. I'll come back. Because I have a key I don't know where to use yet. This game will let you leave without finding everything, and then it messes with which ending you get and what information you have. So I feel like we should explore more. Oh, jeez. Can I use this? Ah, run! Oh, no! <laughs> All right, I don't think it'll fall for a little bathroom trick again. Let's, no, don't go in there. Actually, there was something I think I could use in that room where the dead security guard was. Oh, we hiding. We're too sneaky for you, Scissor Man. He'll never spot us down there. The perfect hiding spot. Um, 
<laughs> okay, I mean, I've seen some better hiding spots, I suppose. It worked. Locked. Oh, crap. Can I use this desk to juke him? I can't. I can juke him. <laughs> Usually the game doesn't let you do that. All right. See you, scissor man. Smack him real good with this. Oh, not even smack. Just squirt him with it. Get squirted, scissor man. Let's go back to the room we were just in. Alright, now we can search this room. Many files, blah blah blah. Records of criminals, blah blah blah. Scissorman's profile is here too. I mean, can I read it? Guess not. Might be helpful. Danny's desk, it's really messy. Harris's desk. There are many cut-out articles of the clock tower case scattered all over it. Harris was quite energetic in his investigation. Scissor man. Where's my desk? Helen's desk. That's my desk. Oh no, I left the key to the office laying here. You now have the office key, sweet. Beth's desk. It's cluttered with stuffed animals. Looks like Beth forgot these. Spray can of mace on her desk. This must be the one with the powerful, irritating smell. Take her teddy bear? Take her mace? Like, you would think, like, oh, a serial killer's chasing me. Maybe I should take this mace. It's not. We're pretty confident we can deal with Scissor Man without Mace. These are written by Barton. Old criminal records. Reading too many of these could drive you crazy. Professor Barton's desk. That's right. Professor Barton's phone should be able to call outside. The line is dead. Does the key work here? Nice. Let me in, baby. Now we're in the therapy room. Whoa. Ah! Oh, who is it? This happened last time and I never found out who it was when I was playing as Jennifer. Rose is laying on the bed. Oh, Rose! Bummer. Uh 
Sorry, Rose. But how'd your date go? Something written on the file. Discovered hint number four. New hints. It was worth coming up here. Probably hide under that bed if I need to. We're gonna try to be super thorough. Um, I still have a key I haven't used, like the storage key or something. Figure out where to use that. Professor Mar, blah, blah, door won't open. Someone else's lab and I can't get in there. Will the office key open this? No. Trash can. Hmm. Ah, have not been in here yet. Something written on the table. You discovered hint number five. Ooh, getting bunches of hints. Magazine rack. No sign of anyone inside. Yellow, police department. There's been a murder. Come, quickly, please. Please relax, ma'am. Did you see the murderer? He's the one with the giant scissors. Scissor man. You've heard of him, haven't you? If this is a prank phone call... Wait! <laughs> he hung up? <laughs> Help, there's a murder. I don't believe you. Bye. Fax machine rings. Flashlight. Noise. This might be useful. Now I have the flashlight. Alright, there's some dress shirts, neckties, and umbrellas. The owner is well prepared. It's locked. Unlock it. Storage key? No. Darn. All right, now we'll check the fax machine. Get ready, I'm coming to get you. Huh? 
I don't have a date. Oh no. Shoe prints, they look like they were made by a child. Oh. Hmm. I didn't find a key in there, I don't think. I found a flashlight. I wonder if I can get on the roof now with the office key or something for a shot. Or is this? <laughs> on the computer screens. That's great. Excuse me, I'll just be going then. I should have gone to the next one, but whatever. Delay now, we made our decision. I think he might suspect we're here. Maybe. <laughs> Dead end. All right, let's check our new hints and then I'll continue there. Uh, We've got most of the hints now. So we just got four and five, I think. Endings except ending E are determined according to how many conditions were met in the last scenario. One extremely important point is who is asked to investigate the statue in the prologue. Do not forget who was asked. Okay. Cool. I like the hint system. It's a really good system. It makes me feel less like I need to get a guide to find all the endings. Let's uh, try a different hiding spot this time. Now, well, I guess he is really short, Helen. That's not necessarily terrible thinking. You can't see this eye up. Nice, it worked. Short people, when will they learn? Why short people make terrible murderers?
Fourth shot. Where do I use the storage key, huh? I haven't used it yet. Could be in the parking lot. So I've been over here. It's where he tried to kill me. I have to listen to the real explanation again. I just wanted to try the key. I don't need the whole explanation. No. Come on. Let's try this. Where the heck's this key go to? I'm not leaving until we figure out where they use this key. I haven't found a storage room or storage closet or anything. Go back to the first floor. Was this the room where I used those pliers? All right, there could be more to find out in the parking lot. So I'm going to save here in case this ends the scenario when I go out there. Because I don't, I want to continue exploring the scenario before I leave, if this ends it. Oh, it's even locked too. E. Okay, so the key was for the same door as the pliers. Oh no, so they were the same. All right. Never used the flashlight though. But since we use the key, I'm satisfied. Scenario one cleared. What in the what is going on? We haven't solved the last case yet. And now another mass murder? And you're saying the murderer is Scissor Man. But it's true. I saw him clearly. Oh boy, oh boy. I sure hope you weren't daydreaming with Jennifer. Well, we're done questioning you for now. You can go on home now, Teach. Hmm. Oh, but don't go anywhere too far for a while. Because I'll probably have to call you in again soon I know gots Helen it's all right Jennifer let's keep looking for more clues about scissor man if we don't do something ourselves he'll probably kill us no need for sarcasm teach I really do want to believe your story you know was it really Scissor Man? Yes, but I don't know if it was the same one who attacked you before. But he sure didn't look human to me. Well, shall we go? Okay. Somehow I must find a clue about Scissor Man. Uh, newspaper? No reason to go to the newspaper office. 
Hotel. Wonder if Edward is there. Don't trust Edward. Ellen, I heard you were attacked by Scissor Man. Yes, I was. I don't know if he was the same one as in the Clock Tower case, though. Maybe he will go after Edward, too. Where is Edward? I think he's in the library. He seems to like it there. I'll go there and check on him then. Would you? Please tell him to come back soon. Metropolitan Library. I wonder if Professor Sullivan is there. Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan here? No, he hasn't come back yet. Oh, I see. House is surrounded by reporters. I shouldn't go anywhere near there now. Investigation of scene seems to be over. Ellen, are you all right? Yes, but more importantly, can we use the room now? Yes, but we couldn't get in all morning because of the investigation and our, you know, dead friends. By the way, Beth, I'd like to take a look at the statue. You mean the one they found at the scene of the Clock Tower murders? Right, I think Professor Barton had it. Well, he did, but I think he asked someone to take a look at it. Not here? No, and Professor Barton isn't either. He's away on some police business. Oh, wrong one. Darn, I wanted to look at the statue. Because I was hoping it would give me a clue. About Scissorman. Did he tell you where he was taking it? I think he said he would either take it to the library or to a man named Rick. Took it to the library? That would be Mr. Sullivan. Indeed, he took it to the library. I'll call Mr. Sullivan. Thanks. Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan here? No, he hasn't come back yet. Oh, I see. Where the heck's Mr. Sullivan? Go back to the stupid hotel, maybe? Ever doesn't seem to be back yet. Hmm. Yes, I'll ask Scott's about Rick. Here we are. Got any new info, Teach? You know a man named Rick? Rick, that sounds familiar. Hmm. Oh yeah, he's the old geezer that used to be the butler for the Barrows family. Barrows family of the Clock Tower case? That would mean he 
Well, he quit ten years before it all happened. I went to see him once, but he didn't know anything. About the case. But anyway, what about it? Well, Professor Barton might have given the statue to him. The statue? What for? That statue just might be the key to the secret of Scissor Man. I think Professor Barton wanted him to look at it. I see. And since you believe in Scissor Man, you want to get your hands on it too? Well, if you want to put it that way. Well, we ain't got any other leads, do we? I can go and get it. You will? All I have to do is talk to Rick and get the statue. Right? Nothing to it. Yes, but... As God's no, it's at the library, not Rick's house. Thank you for offering, Mr. Sullivan. Thank you for offering, but Mr. Sullivan at the library may have it. He doesn't. I'll give you a call. Okay, no problem. Just let me know as soon as you need me. Scenario 2, Edward? What? Now that surprises me because it... Okay, no, no, I'm still Helen. I was going to say, playing as Edward would be crazy. He's a bad guy. Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan in? Mr. Sullivan, he's now in the head librarian's office. E, thank you. Oh, look, if it isn't stupid Edward, what a little jerk. Well, if it isn't Edward, what are you doing here? It's boring at the hotel. Hmm. Is Kay with you? No, she isn't. Oh. What are you reading, you little psycho? There's very aggressive couple of clocks in here. Assuming it's multiple clocks because they're going way faster than one take a second. The reading room, it cannot be entered without a key. I am sure this is Mr. Sullivan's office. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have gone in yet. It might have been a mistake. Hello, Helen. It has been a long time, hasn't it, Mr. Sullivan? No, it's the wrong voice for him. I've heard about what happened to you. How terrible. Yes. By the way, Mr. Sullivan. Yes, I've heard. There's something you'd like to research. I'll give you a key to the reading room, so you can use the reference materials as you please. The reading room is right next door. Oh, and... Statue? Oh, yes, that's it. Professor Barton left it with me. Please, come pick it up on your way out. Thank you very much, Mr. Sullivan. Hmm. Now I can enter the reading room. The 
reading room. There are many valuable works here, only available to university personnel. I just hope there's something here that will explain the scissor man. Doesn't seem to be in this area. Ooh. Hmm. A conspicuous looking air vent. This is a book I've been wanting to read for a long time. This is hardly a good time. Books relating to England are up there. Maybe in this area. Hmm, where is it? I wonder. Am I missing a spot? Yeah, yeah, you said that already. Maybe stupid little Edward's reading the book I want. There we are. Lords of Northern England. This is it. Excuse me, but the library will be closing shortly. Oh, I see. Found a clue about Scissor Man. I still have to pick up the statue. Strange, the clock is chiming. Oh, Mr. Sullivan. Ellen. It seems the bells of the giant clock are broken. I think I'll go have a look. Well, I'll go with you. Thank you. Please follow me. The clock hasn't been working for eight. That's not what he sounds like. He's British. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan, why did you stick your head out there? What were you going to accomplish like that? Silly Mr. Sullivan. Always sticking his head in dangerous spots. You'll never find me in the reading room. hide behind this ladder. He'll never see me. Uh. Get laddered, idiot. Helen? Oh. Edward's voice from upstairs. He can't still be here. Yeah, I don't really... Trust Edward? Go we'll check his office for that statue. We're not leaving without the statue. I'm pretty sure that would get us ending E. That's how I got ending E for Jennifer. Not getting the statue. Envelopes and documents relating to multiple personalities on the desk. The sender of these envelopes is... Sir Barton? 
actually look at that. Wonder if there's any. Ooh. He is inside the drawer. Now you have the collection room key. I'm sure, the collection room's in the back. Seems normal here. Personal computer, the image of Mr. Sullivan struggling amateurishly at the keyboard comes to mind. There are many books about archaeology on the shelf. Some of them were written by Mr. Sullivan. Oh wait, check his garbage. Always dig through people's garbage. That's a rule. Just a trash can. Now I can enter the collection room. The collection room is where Mr. Paul Sullivan keeps the artifacts he dug up in Egypt and other places, of which he's very proud. Dolls and have shown you this room many times, but this time it is pitch dark inside. But there used to be an aquarium here. I could use the light from it. Uh, I have a flashlight, don't I? The flashlight, maybe. Oh! Whoops! You're not a fish, you're a scissor man. Wait, this is the reading room again, isn't it? I did not mean to go back to the reading room. I don't think there's anything else I can use in here. Go back out. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't expect him to be literally right next to me there. Oh, dude, that's the way I want to go. Kick him. Nice. Yeah, go that way. That's a dead guy. for managing the library. I hope it's, it is networked to the outside.
Shouldn't have you worried about the library's budgetary problems, Helen? We have other things to worry about. Nothing in this whole stupid room? Dang, this room sucks. Oh wait, there's a middle desk I didn't check. All right, let's go. Let turn the light on. Dizzer man, turned off the power. Hmm. Gonna guess that front door's locked, but even if it's not, we don't want to leave. We're not leaving without buying the statue. Actually, though, we should save. Because at some point, we do want to come back and leave without the statue, because I think that'll get us ending E. I just don't want to waste time ending E at the moment. I've been locked in. Hello. Are you okay? She's the library clerk I just saw. <gasps> Dang it, Scissor Man again. Let's see, what now? What, I already hid back there before. That won't work again. Oh, whatever, we'll try it. The same thing worked twice in a row. The scissor man that dumb. In fact, it did work twice in a row. stains on these books. What? How'd you solve that mystery, Detective Helen? I don't have time to read these books. Got any more endings? Nope. We're working towards it. We're in a scenario we've never been in at the moment. Got the statue. Thank goodness, there it is. You now have the statue. Since I have what I came for now, all I have to do is way out. Yeah, I bet there's more interesting stuff to find than that.
many ancient swords, strangely shaped pots, and other valuable artifacts. I mean, maybe use one of the swords? I don't know. That seems like it'd be pretty good defense. Oh, come on, you don't see him, Helen? <laughs> Just wander up to him. Oh no, Scissor Man! Nothing I'm here to use? That sucks. Well, looks like we have to fight him. Uh. Hey yeah, pick that. I'll do something new this time. I don't want to hide behind the same desk I always hide behind. Go in this room. You'll never see me here. I'm too sneaky. Nice try, Scissor Man. That is your real name. We still haven't completely searched that room where I got the statue because every time I go in there, Scissor Man's waiting for me. He's been waiting for me in there twice. This is a highly aggressive Scissor Man we have in our hands. Check this statue over here. How are all those giant stone statues carried in here? Dang it, so there's literally nothing. Alright. Looks like nothing else in here. There's Edward's voice that's coming from inside that room. Don't trust Edward, Helen. Edward! Edward!
Dang it. What? There's two scissor men. Or just one magic scissor man, I suppose. Wait, I've come up here before and it was a bad idea. Why did I come up here again? There's nothing I can do in here. <laughs> Crap. Uh, this room sucks. Uh. Get kicked, dummy. Not many places to use to get rid of them. I think I have to try to hide behind that same counter that's worked twice. Hopefully it works the third time. Apparently that spot just keeps working. And I'm pretty sure this will still be locked. I've been locked in. check something in the reading room real quick. Ah, I can't interact with this. A vent. But only a little bigger I might get through. Uh wires? I don't have a way of making it bigger. Oh well, worth a shot. All right, there must be something up in the clock tower. I haven't been able to search that room when I'm not being chased. Maybe good old headless Mr. Sullivan has the keys to the front door or something. Oh, his body's gone. Hmm, oh, there is stuff I can interact with. Operation panel, big clock, something's written on it. You've discovered hint number seven, a new hint, how fun.
something else? Really? What am I missing? There's not that many rooms uh, here, so I'm missing. Hmm, okay. I'm not sure. How do I get out of this dang place? Here to be anything in here. Maybe I missed something in the photocopier room. Uh, well, I'm sure this is totally fine. Let's go check it out. Maybe it's Edward. Edward, ah. I thought you'd still be here. It's dangerous here. Come with me. Edward, you hide under this table until I call you. Be a good boy, and don't worry, yeah. we'll make it. Mm, that's it? Hmm, what about this vent? Couldn't Edward go through the vent? Yeah, okay. Flyers to get the screen off, right? Uh, 
I don't use the pliers to get the screen up. Uh, or the pliers, that's odd. I sure would have thought that would be the... I don't know, smash it with a statue? Hmm. All right, all right. I gotta find something, I guess maybe a screwdriver? Or a wrench? I don't know what I'll need to get that open. Let's go check uh, what's his name's office, Mr. Sullivan's office. Maybe he's got tools somewhere in there. Like something has to have changed now that I found Edward. I guess I have to research everything again. That's kind of annoying. Swords? So he's a sword to cut the vent? I'm on swords being in here. Not. Yep, still nothing else up here. Okay. What about that squished librarian? siren is heard. Oh, must have called the police. There's so many people just on the other side of the door. Thank you. 
Yo, what's up, Shadow Stripes? We got ending D. Uh, as Jennifer, stupid little Edward bashed me in the back of the head with a rock and I died. So now I'm playing as Helen. It was not a happy ending. Ah, screwdriver! Heck yeah. I knew something would have changed somewhere. The rock ending. Yeah, not good. I was not a big fan of that ending. And to make matters worse, now I have to go out of my way to save Edward when I know he's a little jerk that's gonna dome me with a rock if he gets a chance. Edward, come out from there and come over here. Edward, you can probably squeeze through here to the outside. Hurry, run away from here. And get some real pants. As long as you keep a save from the beginning of that level, you should be able to get the A ending sometime. Okay. Yeah, one of the hints basically said all the endings except E are determined in the final stage. So I probably will make a permanent save right at the beginning of Scenario 3 with each character. I'm thinking I'll do something up here, but no, apparently not. All right. Check his office. Yeah, while well, I'm here. You missed the best part? Which part? Nah, there's nothing new in here. Oh, where the guy gets his head cut off? Yeah, that was pretty sick. Hey, Teach, what's going on? Teach, hang in there. We did it. All right, we're going to make, yeah, scenario three, data, data three, uh, Helen is where we'll make our permanent Helen save to try to get all of her endings. Although we still got to go back and do the E ending with her. How many people does Scissor Man have to kill? All right, Teach, that's enough questioning. You can go on home now. 
Yeah, it's, I've learned something interesting about Scissor Man. You've got something? Yes, I know where the Barrow's Castle is. The Barrow's Castle? Yes, it's where the Barrow's family used to live. Or they immigrated here. Go on. I looked further and found a historical account saying that a monster was born in the castle. They must have somehow killed Scissor Man back then. Good point. So I'm planning to go there. Are you crazy? It's way too dangerous. As long as he's alive, we aren't safe anywhere. All right, but one thing. What's that? I'm going with you, okay? Yes. Back to the police station. Hey, my boss says I can go with you to England. He was really sarcastic about it, though. <laughs> Jennifer said something about a newspaper reporter called Nolan. Let's see if he wants to go to England. Excuse me, Miss Helen Maxwell? You have good timing. How so? Well, we've learned a bit of information. That you're going to England. Did you find a lead? How did you find out? Well, it was easy. The assistant inspector in charge of the case is... Going to England. So it was a pretty easy guess. Well, I'll be. How about it? May we join you? I hear there's 15-year-old girls there. I don't mind, but I don't know if gods will like it. Ain't no problem. We're used to him yelling at us. All right, see you at the airport. First thing in the morning. We'll be there. See you in the morning. Professor Barton, Harris. We've just been to the scene of the murder. What a terrible thing to have happen. Yes, but one good thing came out of it. We now know where the Barrows used to live in England before immigrating. Here. I suppose that is where his home is? Yes, and I think I find some clues about him there. So, what are you going to do now? I'd like to go to England tomorrow, may I? Hmm, all right then, but our research staff will go with you. We may discover some material that will be important in the future. I suppose that'll be okay. Very well then, I'll go get ready. Jennifer must be worried. Nothing for me to do here. <laughs> okay. Alan, I've decided to go with you to England. Oh, really? Now, what should I take to wear? We're not going for fun and games, you know.
Uh, you already said this, Beth. You're going to get killed and stuffed in a wine barrel. You really should not go. Beth is born to be in a horror film. <laughs> I wish we got to see how she died, because her, like, I don't know. Hers seems mysteriously gruesome, but you don't witness it. You don't really know what killed her. Edward seems to have come back safely. Edward, thank heaven you're all right. Yes, thank you, Mrs. Maxwell. Thank you very much, Miss Maxwell. By the way, we're thinking we should go back to the Granite Orphanage. I don't think Edward should be staying anywhere. That there might be danger. Oh, I see. We're going to England tomorrow. So I suppose this is goodbye. To England? Oh, that's Edward. Yes, we're going to a castle called the Barrows Castle. We're hoping to find some clues about Scissor Man. May I go too? Edward, what are you talking? What are you saying? They'll probably kill me too if I stay here. I want to go along and help. Edward, that is... Please, Kay? Well, alright then. Please look after him, Miss Max. <laughs> All right, you can go to England and look at the killer's castle. We'll be the first flight tomorrow morning. <laughs> Terrible guardian. Uh... Keep this boy away from any at all rocks. Very much agreed. Okay, there's still nothing for you to do there, huh? Where the heck is stupid Jennifer? She's probably out making out with a 30-year-old newspaper reporter. Hmm. Our boss gave us permission to go, too. Oh, okay. Who am I missing? Back to the library? No one's here. I mean, it's just Beth a bunch in a row at the university building, isn't it? Oh, new people. Helen, are you all right? Yes, I was able to get the statue. And I found a clue. Right, the inspector told me about going to the... Arrow's castle. Suddenly, we've got ten people going to England. Criminy, this is supposed to be serious. Business. I've contacted the police in England, and I've also arranged a rental car. From the airport. Thank you, Guts. Coming to get you, Scissor Man. This time, you'll be doing the running... Here we go. All right, now everything goes incredibly fast until we're suddenly uh, being hunted in a castle in like 20 seconds. Strange, where's Jennifer? Teach, have you seen Harris and Edward? Kay's looking all over for them, but she can't find them anywhere. Oh no. Jennifer's missing too. 
They can't be missing. The castle, hurry. Last scenario, scissor man. Oh, so I'm not starting out already kidnapped. That's different. Teak. Everyone's waiting. Oh, yes. Oh, so that's what's with the big hole in the floor. Okay, so I'm getting to see parts I didn't know about before. That's cool. What happened? All right, we're going to make a permanent save here, right at the beginning of this area. So, uh, Data 3 is officially off limits from now on. That will be our Get All the Helen Endings save. Well, I'll accept E, which we haven't gotten yet. This is... Never found out how to get in this room with Jennifer. So I haven't been in here yet. It's a padlock. And I'm starting on the other side of the castle than last time. Wonder who's this is? Small handprint is plainly visible on the table surface. Scissor man's mm. Any portraits on the wall, they all look alike. And it's empty. Scissor man. My favorite scissor man trap. Is it still here as Helen? That scissor man. What's up, Fat Mario? It's like one of Munch's paintings. I wonder if it's authentic. Good old Munch. I love Munch's paintings. Portraits of the heirs. Something on the table. It's a key. You now have the mansion key. Nice. Chimney that Santa might come out of. Helen, you think you may not be taking this seriously.
The book. I never used this book last time either. The cover of this book is made of copper. You know, of the copper book. This is dirtier than a cheap hotel. Ellen's got the jokes. <gasps> All right, last time I dealt with this stupid hand, uh, there was nothing even in the drawer. I at least know how to deal with it this time, I think. It should be this thing. What the heck? There we are. Ah, there's a tattered note. Ellen, a spell to exercise the devil children is concealed in the fireplace. Quinton Barrows. Exercise the devil children. That's it. <laughs> well, fireplace. I mean, there's several fireplaces, but we'll check them all. Yeah, we found a door in this fountain, went down the door, or down the fountain, through the door, and then stupid Edward is waiting down there, and he hit us in the back of the head uh, with a rock, and we died. That was our official ending. Out of the kitchen. Plenty of ways to beat up Scissor Man in here. Always a good place to run if he chases you. Probably cockroach. What a shame. E. Oh, hello. Harris, don't scare me like that. What's up? Did you find anything? No. Oh well, it's a good looking place anyway, quite relaxing. What are you saying? Scissorman is lurking around here somewhere. It's just a hunch, but I don't think he's after me. Because he is after you. Uh oh. Uh, you make a good point. Oh, I found this key a while ago. You can have it. I wonder which door it opens. Yeah, I wonder too. 
You'd better find a way to kill Scissor Man soon. <laughs> Ellen, are you getting suspicious of Harris yet? Which. Hope none of my friends are dead down here. I don't seem to be able to interact with anything else. Oh. What was that sound? Oh. Oh, this is different. Tim. Oh, Ms. Maxwell? Is everyone all right? I don't know. I'm still looking for them. I wonder if Nolan's still alive. Okay, well, just lay there and wonder, I guess. Ms. Waxwell, I'm going to hide here for a while. Good for you, buddy. So is that girl's body not in here this time? All right, let's go. Oh, jeez. There's that door. Forgot about that one. Hey, you're alive still. Beth, are you all right? Helen, everyone's lost. Hang in there, Beth. 
I want to look around some more. Are we going to still wander around here? The key to defeating Scissorman is here somewhere. I've got to find it. Beth, you should stay here. She really shouldn't. You should stick together. But okay. You've got to be joking. I'm not going to leave left alone again. I'm going with you. That's the smarter decision, Beth. Beth, listen. Scissor Man does not care how many people there are. We have a better chance of being rescued if we split up. Helen, I don't think that's good logic. Beth, I feel the same way. I've got to find a way to kill Scissor Man. Wait here. All right, I will. Oh, Beth. But you come back, won't you? Helen's writing that main character energy right now. So I actually kind of like Helen as the main character more than Jennifer. But I like them both just fine, I guess. Okay, so this is apparently not the chimney that that note was referring to. Helen actually likes to read. Hmm. I think this is the room where I stabbed the hand, right? I think I know where I am. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, this is the monster hand room. Oh, that guy, I never checked. He gave me the fireplace key. Well, that's interesting. That key does not sound familiar to me. I don't think I ever got that key as Jennifer. The mansion key works here. Nice. And what was this room again? Just so I get my bearings. Okay, it's just a hallway. Whoa, was that door always back there? Go back down. I think that door was always back there. Dang, this door was locked when I was Jennifer. I've never been through this. How fun. Whoa, this is new. Chemicals and laboratory equipment are on the shelf. There's nothing useful here. Any tape recorders on the floor? Probably Nolan's. Take it. Let me just open up this grave. <gasps> Nolan! Nolan, what happened? You all right? Damn. Somebody attacked me from behind. My head is still throbbing. Talk to Nolan. 
What about Jennifer? Have you found her? No, not yet. That's okay. I'll help you look. We'll find her. No, you stay here. No one can move but me. Oh, crap. Um... Bye. Best of luck, Nolan. Oh, okay, well, yeah. ah! not the best timing I've had. Why can't I even attempt to go through that door? What's wrong with that door? not been up here. I don't know what's through any of these doors. Let's find out. Uh, hopefully something that I can use. Oh, crap. Juke him! <laughs> Idiot. You got juked. That was a nut stomp more than a kick. That's true. Well, ah! What just happened? My controller disconnected, I think. Oh, no! My controller's dying. Uh, I have to do this real quick. Is it back? It stopped blinking. Okay, I can move again. Is this the room that we fall in? Oh, it opened. Some doors the game's just like, nah, you can't go through that door. Pick another door. Uh, what's in there? I don't remember. Something I can use, maybe? This did not work as Jennifer. Let's see if it works this time. Uh. No, that thing sucks. It's a trap. It never works. Okay, we're just doing circles now, Alan. We gotta find a way to lose this guy.
Um, 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 anything I can use in here. Anything I can use. Anything. Anything. There's nothing I can use. This room's a death trap. No, run on this side of the friggin' table. I know you can. tried this room, dang it. Moon circles. This one? <laughs> I can't find a place to lose him. This one's getting annoying. Um, all right, I did this one once as Jennifer. Stop him. All right. He should be not in here anymore then. I need to actually explore this room. Forgot to put on makeup today. Yep, that's what you should be worried about, Helen. like to sleep in a bed like this sometime. House. Yes, we know you'd like to sleep in a bed like that. dark to see well. I have a flashlight, don't I? Batteries are dead. I've carried a dead flashlight this entire game. I found that in like the original first area. I never used it. Um, okay. Well, we need to come back here. Once we have either batteries or a candle or something. Uh, I just got a... The library key is what I just got. Library's up here. I haven't searched this area. Yo, what's up, Notorious Swede? How you doing? <laughs> oh, it opened. Now we're going to the library. This is an early PlayStation 1 game, sweet. It's very rough around the edges. Early 3D. Uh, this fire was not lit last time when I was Jennifer. 
someone's been reading some books about demonology. Any books on philosophy? Some words carved into the desktop. Take the dry path when choosing among the three. I wonder what this means. I've seen it somewhere in some compilation vids. I've been enjoying this series quite a bit. Uh, this one I like more than the first one, so I like this game a lot. This game's been really fun. The first was good. This one's great. I wonder who lit the fire. I don't think it was Scissor Man. Why not? One clicks dead art form. It is. And this game's not too bad about, like, adventure game logic. But it's, I mean, I'm playing with a gamepad, though. It's a PS1 game, so I'm moving the arrow with a D-pad, which isn't ideal, but it gets the job done. Small wooden box that's inside the letterbox. to open it the rattling sound there's no way to take the object out now the wooden box all right i see some people are in an ad break i'm gonna pause it till the ad breaks over now the transparency for the cursor bit off so it gets these random square edges from time to time yes the uh i don't i i assume that's it's the emulation i'm obviously playing on an emulator so it gets some weird artifacting and I'm playing at two times resolution, which may also affect that stuff. I have to take some of these with me. Any philosophy books? Yeah. yeah. Master House seems to have been rather cultured. No! No, Scissor Man, no! Oh, well, not a lot of time to react in here, is there? <gasps> Gotta go, even though I just got here 3M. Try to hear earlier next time. Sure, sweet. Thanks for stopping by. It's always good to see you. Get some sleep. Stretch. Oh, thank you, Fat Mario. I, think I will. Uh, I think I know how to ditch a Scissor Man here. The room at the end of this hall, I think, is the one that drops. Let's let him get close. Come and get me, Scissor Man. <laughs> you put a lot of faith in the power of those door hinges and that handle. Back to the library. So if anyone was stuck in a ad when I got it, I found a box that she can hear something rattling inside of, but we don't know how to open it. Nope. Handlestick encrusted with rust.
So many books with covers made of copper. There's one missing. And I have a copper book. That's still not the solution. Why can't I try putting the copper book in? It's just so logical. Frustrates me to no end that I can't try sliding that book in. Hmm, okay. We still have a couple of rooms I don't think we've searched yet. Hmm. Oh, yes, this area. They can't go through here. It's the stair room. Oh, that's right. That room where I found Nolan before. I didn't finish exploring it before Scissor Man showed up. There was another door in there that it, it wouldn't let me interact with before. Let me try that again. Also, this chest. That door, I can interact with it now. Okay. Cloth sack inside. What's this? It's really heavy. Lead balls about the size of a baseball. You now have the lead balls. Okay. I got no clue where I'm going to use those. How surreal. Oh. So is that a trap I can use on Scissor Man now that I know what it is? Well, we got lead balls. Those will probably come in handy. Um, I haven't done anything out here. Let me double check this again. Actually look around, make sure there's nothing I'm missing. All right, nothing in the corners. Oh geez, why? Come on, scissor man. I was ready this time. Let's go try that new door we just discovered, see if we can trip him out of it or something. Oh, 
Well, I can't. Let's see, that seems like such a logical thing to use on him. Or like maybe hiding in here. I don't know. Why can't I use this? This feels like it should be a scissor man trap. There's nothing you can do in this room. Well, I know one more place that I can uh, use something on him. That's reusable. It might be. Okay, man, I have not seen anything I can think of to use lead balls on. Uh, let's go talk. Like, some of the people were like, oh, come check on me again. Let's go, like, go check on Beth. And maybe some of the others, see if they're still there. Because I'm kind of drawing a blank now. I did try all these doors, right? Yeah, I did. I know where all these. There is a fireplace. No, that fireplace she just says a Santa Claus would use it. I'm pretty sure the fireplace that I need to use the key on is in there. But I need light first. I need batteries or a candle. Maybe, like, one of them has batteries. Like, maybe Beth has batteries on her. Wait, what about Nolan's stupid tape recorder? That would have batteries in it. Can I steal his batteries for my flashlight? Oh, great. She's gone. Hope you're happy there, Helen. Telling her to stay here. Hmm. What is in this room? I don't know what this room is. Oh, because it's just another hallway. Is the hand stabby room? Hand stabby room could have batteries. Oh, it's the kitchen. Oh, let's go check the there were the Tim was in the kitchen basement. And that's right, we could ditch Scissor Man in the kitchen if we need to. I gotta remember that. Yeah, go go check on Tim. Well, you're being super weird about this. Gone, isn't he? They're always gone. I guess we can't see if Tim's back there. I mean, I've explored the little 
voice recorder thing um and nothing happened but that is currently my best bet for where to get batteries i'm gonna try it like maybe you have to like use the flashlight on it What in the world am I going to use a lead ball on? And how do I open this dang box? Hmm. Oh, great. Hit him with this pan. How'd you come from that side? Ah, potential batteries are over here. Currently my best guess for what to do. Not feel real, feeling real confident this is going to work, but it's worth a shot. I mean, it does make it super obvious this is sitting here. Oh, can I not interact with it? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Probably no lens. There should be batteries in here! I'm a genius! If only they're the right size. Yes! Oh good, they'll fit in the flashlight. Dang, I'm good. Alright, let's go. It's so rare to actually come up with a solution and not just get lucky in these types of games. Good feeling. Although I'm a little lost. Where's this lead? Okay. This should lead where I need to go. Big brain moves. Exactly. Scissor man, don't you show up now. Let me search the fireplace. Have I saved lately? No. I saved at the beginning of this whole section and leaving it at that. I'm not making any other saves. Just my permanent save. All right, flashlight, let's go. There's a note stuck inside. It's in Latin, words to open door. In ha e. Yeah. Words to open door. Maybe these words can be used to exercise Scissor Man. You now have door spell. Oh. Okay. Door spell. That, that I have to admit, of all the things I expected to find in that fireplace, door spell was not high on the list. And I didn't use the fireplace key. I guess the fireplace key gets used on a different fireplace. Here's one. There's a surrounding fence. Eight is locked. <gasps> Keys work on locked things. Yes! It opened! Passageway with the ladder inside the chimney. Crawling in there would give me the creeps. Wait, are you serious? Crawl in there. Okay. 
Imagine if they left it at that. No, that would be creepy. Tattered and frayed Bible. A cosmetics case, it's locked and will not open. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh no. Hey ya. Locked cosmetics case. Have you tried smashing it with a lead ball? Have you tried breaking this statue with a lead ball? No. Hmm. Documents made here. There are many books on religion from around the world. What a collection, but now is not the time to admire it. Any thick books when none stand out. Books are stacked up. What's this? You've discovered hint number 10. Sweet. That's almost all the hints now. We're pretty close to having all of them. Oh. Whoa. Not that. That was the wrong decision. Jennifer. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Maybe I should have thrown the lead ball. Oh, I probably should have used the door spell. I don't know. That did not give you much time to think. You know, he took all the time to literally put her up, like, on this crazy cross thing, but there was, like, no fanfare when he killed her. He just, like, dab, hee hee hee, and he left. Well, I'm guessing we're not getting the good ending this time.
Ooh, that stench. The room is permeated by the smell of blood. Wait a minute, I wonder if this might break my box? Or break a box, buddy? Door spell? Jennifer's gone. What is that? A character of a religious fresco is painted on the wall. Anything else? Maybe they use the door spell here? I don't know. Door spell. No. Statue? Statue up here? Like, there's clearly some sort of thing on the ground, like that. Okay, nothing. Oh, that's what's through that door. Now I know. Okay. I still haven't figured out how to use the copper book, even though it's obvious how to use the copper book. This is where I came from. I wonder if anything ever changed in here. Nope, nothing in here. Hmm, well... You ever come back, Beth, or are you still gone? I didn't really find anything at all over there. Like, what the heck? I went over there and Jennifer got killed. Like, I must have missed something. I didn't find anything that would help. Go check the torture room again. Doesn't appear to be anything in here. I guess maybe I came back here just to find Jennifer, but 
That doesn't get me any closer to escaping. Or killing Scissor Man. Go back to the library. So annoying. Why can't I just put the cover book in? Uh. And in the library. I'm at a bit of a loss here, Shadow. The solution for that is sort of stupid, but it's in that room. Oh, it is. So I should I should be in the library. I have no clue. I don't have a clue. I've been trying to figure this one out for two two playthroughs. I couldn't figure this out with Jennifer either. Uh. 
What the? What the? Oh, there's stupid strips down there. What? Are you kidding me? I just had to look at the scratches. She couldn't figure it out until I did that. That actually makes me kind of mad. Oh, jeez. Ridiculous. Ooh, I never got the plate. Oh no, I never got the plate. I don't remember where the plate was, but I don't know the order because I never got the plate. Take the dry path. One of these dry and the others are wet. None of them look more dry or moist than the others to me. I just pick one? Why not? Let's go moon. Oh wait, a deep shaft. There's a ladder going down. It is pitch dark. I can't see anything. Shaft goes all the way down. Ah, moon, I suppose. None of them said anything about being wet. Dude, if I just get decked by freaking Edward. Oh no, I got eaten by rats? What a way to go. Okay, I'm thinking let's not take the moon. Let's try a different one. Star. <laughs> Hilarious he was down there. Just Edward and a pile of rocks. So I'm sure that plate is supposed to tell me which one to take, but I didn't find the plate with Helen. What? Oh my goodness. I guess I'll try the third one. That would not be my first choice in ways to go. Crawling through a gross underground tunnel and mauled to death by rats. Uh-oh. Maybe they all kill you unless you find the plate. The game's like, you're not allowed to guess. That's kind of what it's telling me right now. No guessing allowed. All right, I guess we got to go find the plate. It tells us which one to take. All right, well, that's still, I solved the thing that was annoying me the most. Still haven't figured out how to use the lead ball or the wooden box or the door spell. And I guess we gotta find the plate.
Yeah, take the dry path when choosing among the three. I don't know. None of them were wet. Okay, um, plate. Plate, plate, plate. I don't remember at all where I found that plate. Uh, let's check these rooms. No, it's not that room. Maybe this one. This was the fireplace room. I'm pretty sure it wasn't in there. No, this was the other fireplace room. Stupid plate was. I don't even know if it's always in the same spot or what. Maybe it was over there in the torture area. I feel like I got it really early with uh, Jennifer. Like, why can't I interact with this thing? What's the deal with that? I think it's something on the table and I just can't mess with it. This thing cried blood last time. Really nothing more in this room. And it's acting like there's nothing. All right. Hmm. Uh, well, sorry, Shadow Stripes, but I think that's going to be it for today. I don't, can't figure out exactly what to do here, and, uh, it's time for the stream to end anyway, so no point in wondering aimlessly anymore. Uh, we'll save over data one. That's where we'll pick up tomorrow. We'll pick up right here. And we'll get at least the, we'll probably get a couple of endings tomorrow. But I'm going to keep going in this game. I'm still having a lot of fun with it. Okay. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. It's been real fun. Same time tomorrow for more Clock Tower. And once I finish this game up, I'm moving on to Clock Tower Ghost Head, the third Clock Tower game. All right, have a good one. See ya.